Next one is converting three and a half pounds or three and a half tons to pounds. So the first thing we need to be able to do is handle improper fractions in mixed numbers. So this one's a mixed number, but I actually want to write it as an improper fraction. So three and a half, what is three and a half? There's many ways of doing this. Three and a half is the same thing as 3.5. Or if you didn't know that, again, you could hit the second times 10 to the, and you would, it would give you, if you typed in this, this fraction right here by using the second N over D button to type in the mixed number, then you could use the second times 10 to the N, and that would have written it as a mixed number for you. Would have work, worked either way for you, but three and a half is the same thing as 3.5. So I'm gonna start off with what I was given. I was given 3.5, sorry, 3.5 tons. I want units here, it's very important. I look for a conversion between tons and pounds, and I know that two, or sorry, one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds, okay? So what happens? Let's cross off the tons here. So this is going to be 3.5 times 2,000 divided by 1, and that's in terms of pounds. Let's go ahead and see what you get. I'm getting a total of 7,000 pounds for that one. Please put your answer in the answer blank. How about let's try the next one. It says convert 3 pounds to ounces. We'll start off with what you're given, 3 pounds. By the way, if you don't know the units, LB stands for pounds, uh, you could literally write the English word pounds. I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't care about your abbreviations. What's our conversion rate? Well, we know that one pound is the same thing as 16 ounces. That gets rid of our conversions of pounds or units of pounds. So this would be 3 times 16 over 1 ounces. Well, 3 times 16 over 1 is 48 ounces, and we're done. Again, please put your answers in the answer blank. How about converting cups to quarts? Cups to quarts. Well, this is a nice problem. I like this problem. Good test problem here. What do you do? You start off with cups. We don't know cups to quarts. What do we know? We know cups to pints, and then pints to quarts. So I'm actually going to use two conversion factors here. I know that there's two cups in one pint. Once I know my pints, now, now I'd be in terms of pints, right? Because I'm in pints, that's not what I want. So I'm actually going to do another conversion factor. I know that there's two pints for one quart. Two pints for one quart. Now notice that my unit's going to be in terms of quarts. So what numbers do I have? Well, I have 42 times 1 times 1 on top, and on bottom I have 2 times 2. So really what I'm doing is 42 divided by 4 is what it effectively is. So 42 divided by 4, I'm getting um, 10.5, or I'm getting, you can write it as a, you don't want to write it as an improper fraction. You could have written it as a mixed number here, 10 and a half. Um, but 10.5 works for me. So this is 10.5 quarts. Okay, 10.5 quarts. As long as it ends in a nice decimal, a 0.25, a 0.5, I'm okay with you using the decimal version. If it doesn't end in a nice decimal, something like one third, I cannot have you write 0.3 with a bar over it. That would not be an acceptable answer. And you can't write 0.333 because that's not exact. That's an estimation. So if you ever get a bad fraction, just leave it as a fraction, one-third. Four and one-third, for example, as a mixed number, okay? Let's look at example number six here. We wanna go from pints to gallons. We start off with what we have, what we're given. We're given 18 pints. We know that there's two pints to a quart. We just did that one. And then we also know that there's four quarts to one gallon. So crossing out my units here, my pints cross out, my quarts cross out. Now I'm in terms of gallons. Look at the numbers on top is 18 times one times one. The numbers on bottom is two times four. When I do that out, sorry, that's in terms of gallons. I don't know why I put that there. So that equals how many gallons? I'm getting a total of 2.25 or I'll go ahead and write it as a you could write it as 2.25, a decimal. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'll go ahead and write it as 2 and 1 quarter as a 
mixed number, two and a quarter gallons or 2.25 gallons.